Okay. So. So dividing by nine is fifty-five. So that's our middle number of our the nine, nine series. Okay. So we go fifty-six. So then we. Eight, Fifty-nine, fifty-four, fifty-three, fifty-two, fifty-one. Yeah. Fifty-one. So the sum for fifty-one up to fifty-nine is going to give us four ninety-five. Okay. So does it work for nine? It does. Yeah. Okay. And then for eleven. Eleven, it's going to be forty-five. And then you're not going to get less than one going down, and going up, you'll also be fine. It's. I think 50 and 40. Okay. And so that works. All right. And it is divisible by 5. So that. And then make sure that 10, 10 series works. So you have 90. So 99 is going to be the sum of 2. It's, it's 2x plus 9. Which is 40. Forty-nine and fifty? Forty-nine, yeah. So there are two numbers. And then going a four back from here, you're okay. Then going four up from here, you're okay. It's forty-four and fifty-four. Why are you saying you're okay? Like, you're not less than zero. And no, no problems are arising. All right. So, what does the condition and the problem say? Read the read the whole problem. So, what is the smallest positive integer that simultaneously the sum of nine consecutive integers, the sum of ten consecutive integers, and the sum of eleven consecutive integers? So okay. they don't have to be positive. What has to be positive here? The integer, the the, the integer that's the sum of these, the integer that's has that is these three sums. Uh huh. The integer that is these three sums. But the, in the sums, you could have negative numbers. Okay. All right, so that's important. We'll come back to that in a second. Um, the, the integer itself has to be positive, but the integers in the sum could be negative. Yeah. Okay. So uh, we have found now that 495 does meet the conditions, and you've written down the, the sum of 10, the sum of 11, and the sum of uh, 9 numbers that, that satisfy it. By the way, do you notice anything? Uh, interesting about the relationship between those sums. Can you tell me anything you see um, between the sum of 9, 11, and 10 numbers that um, is uh, interesting? Or, or anything maybe not even that interesting, just that you notice about the sums? Well, if you look at the, <coughs> the middle numbers, uh -huh. and one of the middle numbers for 90, the Divisible the sum of ten consecutive integers. They're all divisible by five. Okay. And notice the ending number for ten is almost in between fifty and fifty-nine. Uh huh. Okay. So yeah. So like so for I was looking at starting numbers. So this the one for eleven has the smallest starting number. The one for ten has the next start the smallest, and the one for eleven. Um, I didn't sorry, figure out why one. this. Has, it's a positive integer. Why? Because zero satisfies all of these. Uh, okay, you, let's let's talk about that. We're going to talk about that in the next minute. Okay. All right. Um, anything else you want to say here? Now that we found four ninety five. Not really. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Let's go to the next movie.